Hey guys! If you are just too lazy to read the guide on how to attach a sleeping bag to your backpack. So, don't worry we bring you this guide to just listen and memorize in a better way. So, let's start. There is actually no correct or incorrect way to pack a backpack, just a proper way. When you are going on a camping trip, a backpack is something that will hold all your stuff in one place and can be safely stored in the trunk of a car until it is needed and not worry about. But if it is a trip to the wilderness, your backpack will hold the most essential gear you will need such as your tent, sleeping bag, food and a ton of other necessary items that you will be carrying on your back for miles. Most people tend to overstuff their backpack and it takes a few takes to realize what exactly they need to take on their trips. Sleeping bags are one of the larger items in a backpacker's essential kit, and for this very reason, it is very important to learn how to attach a sleeping bag to a backpack. The simplest way to do this would be to tie it outside your sleeping bag using the carrying bag strap and the pack loops. If that were true, this article would be over by now, and we wouldn't bother writing a guide explaining how to attach your sleeping bag to your backpack. But necessary as they are, not all backpacks feature these accessories, and hence this guide. Be sure to check out our guide on choosing the best hiking bags before you do that. Number 1 Packing it inside The most common way to pack a sleeping bag is from the outside, and you may have seen travelers with enormous backpacks with a sleeping bag mounted on top roaming about. While packing the bag, this goes at the bottom. Some bags have internal straps to compress it even further, and this also gives you plenty of room for the rest of your gear. Number 2 Using Straps and Loops This method requires your backpack to have either loops or stuffing sack straps. A lot of backpacks have loops on the back panel, though a lot of people rarely use it and most don't even know what they are for. The usage is pretty straightforward, all you have to do is get those straps through the loops and pull them up. We would like to add that while buying a new one, make sure that the backpack is waterproof. To begin with, it saves you the trouble of buying a waterproof case for it later. Number 3 Tying the sleeping bag to an external frame A lot of people prefer external frames to internal ones because they believe it maintains the structure of the backpack and provides better overall support. The following trick is very useful because it makes use of the tie points at the bottom of the bag. You may have found these on some backpacks, but unfortunately, no one makes it clear what they are for. Number 4 Improvise What if you have an old sleeping bag which does not have any bells and whistles? By that, we mean that it does not have any straps to speak of, but features loops. Most people, when it comes to loops and straps on sleeping bags and backpacks, are clueless as to what their purpose is, and spend years and years in ignorant bliss and so they go unused for years. The first and foremost use of the loop is to attach the sleeping bag to wherever it needs to be attached to, whether it is a liner, a backpack or a sleeping pad. They are also used to roll your bag and to keep them rolled, this should have been a no-brainer. Some sleeping bags have pad loops which are used to keep it in place while you sleep. If the loops are on the side of the bag, they are meant for hanging it out for drying. Hanging the bag out to dry is a better idea opposed to laying it flat because it will maintain the loft where the insulation is. We have only listed a few of the techniques about how to attach a sleeping bag to the backpack. As we told you, if your backpack lacks any straps to hold your sleeping bag, you can make one out of strings. Most modern backpacks now feature compression buckles which are used to make things even more compact and then use the straps to hold the sleeping bag in place.